Hello, everybody. It's me, your favorite Giraffe Factory, and we are back with another episode of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. And today might be the last episode. Brings a little tear to my eye just thinking about it. This is episode 46, which means uh, we've gone through a, a whole lot of time together. Um, pretty good. Better part of an entire day's worth of footage on uh, on this series, and I'm pretty proud of it. I've had a good time. Uh, I know I've misspoken, and I'm not the greatest monster hunter in the world. I don't do speed runs or anything, but uh, I hope that uh, it's been. I hope that it's been entertaining, as entertaining for you guys as it has been for me. Um, yeah, I've really loved it, and. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching, and today we are going to see what everybody has to say here. Um, I did my research, figured out I had one quest I had to do, but it was just a quest of monsters we've already seen before. And so, yeah, so I'm going to fight this last quest. Let's see what everyone has to say. Let's start with Junior. Hey, yo, Hunter. According to the village scuttlebutt, an ivory like Yakris has reared its ugly, uh, rear end. <laughs> Did you know that my dad was a legendary hunter? Of course you do. If Pops never talked about his glory days, he would hardly say a word. <laughs> but even in his prime, my old man was no match for one monster in particular. Yep, the ivory laggy Yakris. This'll be a doozy of a battle, but I'm sure you'll come through. Or my name isn't Junior. Uh, you know my name. <laughs> oh, and there's one more thing. I got plans for a new kind of mask for your pipsqueak from your pipsqueak pal. This one sounds pretty interesting. I'll make it if you give me the right materials. Blah blah blah. What is that mask? The Rathalos mask. Oh, that's adorable. Yes, I want to make that, and and I want to put it on Cha Cha before we do anything else. Uh, I know I need to. I I guess I don't need to uh, put. Oh, well, yeah. Hey, Cha-Cha, what's up? Shakalaka whoosh! New mask idea swooped down on Cha-Cha like Sonic Super Maverick Wyvern. Cha-Cha brain think mask shoot balls of fire fire. Certain, certain to be hottest shock accessory of the season. But who care about Shaka's stupid unfortunate mask? The Kayamba, that Kayamba accessory, it bring out color in Kayamba eye holes. Opa, opa. With new mask that Cha-Cha make make, Hunter Monster, wait, Hunting Monster, like Ivory Laggy Acris, Total cha <laughs> That's a weird one. Cha-Cha leave plans with Village Chief cha Child Jr. Read and weep weep, tears of joy that be. Oh look, some free stuff he got. Alright. And... I'm gonna change his mask to that Rathalos mask. Because it is amazing. Look at him. He's so adorable. He looks like a little crazy. It kind of looks like a like those uh, big masks that they wear in some parts of the world during festivals and stuff. <laughs> looks great. Yamba! Masks just have big reaction, bigger than with stupid Zen Ogre. Now that Kayamba, think about it. Pretty guild lady said Ivory Laggy something be coming here. Lag get crude, latitudinous, whatever. Kayamba not care about name. Kayamba just care about source of electric power. Kayamba got good feeling about this. With new monster's energy, Kayamba can make mask the way it used to be. Kayamba see strong, zeppy light at end of tunnel. Ultimate mask journey is almost over. Hurry, minion. All right. Oh, not you, child. I want to talk to this child. All right. I want to see if his new mask has a slot or not yet. It does. Cool. Let's give him attack boost. Uh, no. Okay. Yes. There we go. Boom. All right. Cool. Attack boost on them. Uh, what do you got for me, Argosy Captain? Kita, kita. Ivory lag, Ivory lagiacus. Kita. Monster come, monster come, and giant of Far East, all too aware of its terrible power. Far, far, terrible power. Now, now you playing with Chikara. But that not stop you. I can see Manazashi in your eye. Manazashi means look. <laughs> you go hunt this monster. Test limits of hunter skills, yes? Very well. Know that giant of Far East cheering you on from safe location. Guabara, guabara. 
go forth and <laughs> go forth. The sea breeze beckons. All right, sea breeze does beckon, sir. Let's do this. So the ivory like Yakris has finally resurfaced. Feel the electricity in the air, kid. That tingle on the back of your neck. Yep, just like old times. That monster can handle itself underwater and on land. It unleashes ferocious thunder attacks. Even all its normal attacks aren't nothing to sneeze at. You can't be too careful. I gotta level with you, kid. This is gonna be a tough hunt. One tough hunt. But it's not like you're new to this monster hunting business. That's right, we've been here for more than a, uh, for uh, more than 40 episodes, man. I think you just might stand a chance against this thing. Make me proud, kid. For what it's worth, I'll be rooting for you. Thanks, Chief. That means a lot or something. Someone else has something to say to me over here? This guy's no. Is it this girl? No. Who wants to talk to me over here? It's got a little... Oh, there he is. So, it's true. You're really shipping out to hunt that ivory like Yakris? Figures. I'd expect nothing less from the monster, from the hunting fleet's biggest rival, after all. Just swear you'll make it back to us. Will ya? <laughs> Every self-respecting hunting fleet needs a nemesis. And none's finer than you. Oh, that's cute. I'm as strong as an entire fleet of hunters. It's here, it's here! The monster that chomped the, the captain's friend. The chief's nemesis, his rival. And now your little buddy, your little buddy's kooky mask is reacting more fiercely than ever. This might be the monster we've been waiting for. Voila! The quest to hunt the big mama j mama jamma has arrived. It's the ruler of two realms itself, the Ivory Lagiacris. What does Mr. Ivory Lagiacris have in store for you? Inquiring hunters want to know. Let's take a peek at my in-depth guidebook. Oh, uh, all the page says is TBD. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, if my guidebook had any info on that beast, it'd be hardly legendary. <laughs> the chief says it's a master of not only the sea, but the land as well. Yowza! I'm all for surfing turf, but not in this case. No two ways about it. This hunt is going to be brutal. You, you have to decide if you're up to the challenge. Just remember that the whole village is rooting for you. Me, the chief, everybody. We know, we know you got this beast beat. Oh, and don't forget the kiddos, okay? They have a lot of right. They have a lot riding on your success. Are you ready? Cause the greatest hunt in history begins right now. Conqueror of land and sea. Man, it's been almost ten minutes just reading these guys. All right, let's see if we can beat them in twenty minutes, shall we? <laughs> it's on the desert island from the Moga village chief. Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water, the ivory Lagiacris -like prowls these seas again. Lucky for that beast, I'm retired. I trust you to handle things from here, kid. Don't let us down. Let's do this. Let's surpass the chief and everybody. Let's be the coolest monster hunter in town. Uh, I don't have my charms on me, but I don't really foresee that being a problem. You know what? No, I, I, I want to I wanna change my loadout here. Whoops. Just kidding. Be right back. Do, 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 do. Let's grab. We gotta put away a couple things. We don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, let's see. We, we are gonna need... I wouldn't mind having a couple paintballs. It's okay. We're gonna want... Let's bring a Mega Armor Skin, just, be, just in case. Uh, mega Armor Skins are a great way to boost your your defense and they last an entire life um, yeah you can make them uh, you can figure them out through the combo list pretty easily um, you can make armor skins by catalysts and adamant seeds and then mega armor skins by armor skin and pale extract and pale extract is uh, gotten from the giggy Nox. so if you want to make those you can farm him a few times get that stuff for yourself what do we want here? We've got... Cha-Cha's wearing a Rathalos mask. That's fun. He shoots fireballs. It's crazy. Um, we might as well bring Nullberries because we do have a Thunder weakness on this set, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, neat. Okay. Never mind. Not bad. Um, oh, forgot our charms. That's how good I am. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. We're coming up on ten minutes. we got to do this. All right. Come on now. We're running out of time, man. Where are my things? There they are. Boom and boom. 
or my gunner pouch. I gunned that last that last uh, quest I had to do there. All right, all right. Ten minutes and counting. Let's do this. Let's do this. We want. We want something good here. Um, I'll take this. It's got Ultra Lucky Cat on it. Pyro is not really going to help us, but I'll do it. I'm fine with that. Maybe we'll uh, we'll bomb him just to make use of that. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We gotta buy uh, some whetstones anyway. Ooh, slow start to this episode. Whoops. Okay. Uh, barrel bombs. Boom. Okay, cool. We're good now. Let's do this. Urgent. Conqueror of land and sea. Blah, blah, blah. There. Boom. Let's do this. Alright, so this is the Ivory Lagiacris. This is the last subspecies you fight in offline mode. Well, looks like it's time for you to face the Ivory Lagiacris. That's a subspecies of a Lagiacris, you know. Won't lie to you, this hunt's a doozy. The monster will charge you, bathe you in wyvern breath, and zap you with electricity. Just do what I just what do what I'd do in this situation. Give it all you got and don't screw up. I got faith in you, kid. Go make me proud. I got this, chief. So we gotta track down and slay the ivory laggy Acris. Where's he gonna start? I think he's gonna start over here. The Ivory Lagiacris is a primarily land monster, but he can he's he's just like an a uh, Lagiacris underwater. Um and on land he's a lot like an, a Lagiacris, but he's a lot more uh agile and has a few more attacks than usual. Oh and, oh we get it, we even get a video for him and everything. I guess that's suiting since he's a boss monster and all. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Pretty cool. So this guy is a super strong Lagiacris who likes to come on land. And uh, he's got some more land attacks. He can, uh, he can more easily kind of move around and he can... Uh, he likes to... Uh, what am I trying to say? He likes to uh, do, the, do that area of effect attack that he did in that opening video there. He can do that pretty well, pretty often. And, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see, like that. He did it pretty quick, too. And it leaves you blighted pretty easily if you don't have any resistance. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of that, because that's dangerous to get comboed by this guy. He's pretty strong. And see, he's a, he's a pretty big fan of that, of that, uh, of that power, that kind of power charge attack thing. Let's whetstone it up. I'm going to get Cha Cha to be a a shock trap as quickly as we can. Oh wait, no, he can't do that yet. Right. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. He's a he's a Rathalos. <laughs> Too used to using him as a uh, as a as a pitfall trapper. Whoops. Okay, cool. So, um, one of the biggest things you want to look out for when you're fighting this guy is uh, is the fact that he spits out those uh, those thunderballs, and now they actually have a spreading effect. Um, oh, I bounce off his horns. Wow. Um, they now have a spreading effect. You'll notice that he, he'll he sling it to the side there, and he he slings he slings the uh, the thunderball to the side, and it uh, and it travels pretty far um, in the direction that he slings it. Um, luckily, he can only sling it in that one direction, uh, which is convenient in a certain way, and. Uh, kind of annoying in another, but if you stay on on his left side, uh, to his left, then you can uh, keep away from those pretty easily, uh, because he only throws them uh, clockwise, so not so bad. Um, he can also spit three Thunderballs in quick succession, which is pretty tough to deal with, because uh, he can do them really quickly. Uh, and, he, and he'll back up and reposition every time. 
uh, trying to throw them straight at you as much as possible. Oh, we might be... Okay, we're good. Um, so, yeah. But whenever you see him uh, kind of throwing his head back to spit that, that bigger Thunderball, you definitely want to run run to your right, his left, um, counterclockwise around him. It's, it's the is the non-directional version of that. Um, but yeah, so... Oh, miss. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think that's the biggest thing to look out for. Um, he's just... He's a, he's a very agile, on-land version of a Lagiacris. I'm going to keep attacking even though the Sharpness went down here because he's stunned. And try to go for one of these. Get him. It's not bad. Okay. Um, his chest, I believe, is his weakest spot for... Uh, blade damage um, and luckily it's actually a pretty easy spot to get to in general oh whoops oh, cool. ooh, 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 mistake mistake don't kill me oh oof. Um, his chest is pretty easy to get to and so it so it takes a pretty good amount of damage um, and uh, and what else he's um, Oh yes, nice. Um, I think it takes the, the most uh, blade damage, but I think his back is actually his elemental weak spot when it comes to uh, when it comes to fire. So that's pretty nice. Um, oh, what did it take one for the team, Kayamba? Oh no. Um, so that's pretty good. When he falls down, he, you can you can put some put pretty good elemental damage into his back. Um, oh, good double charges. That's fun. So yeah, he um, he can do that. Uh, or when he falls down, you can you can try to wail on his back to get some uh, get some good elemental hits in if you're using a fire weapon. Oh wow, we didn't get hurt there. Oh wrong. Didn't mean to do that. No. Oh, okay, that was a big one. Uh, so if he if he takes a little bit longer to to kind of when he uh, he kind of folds in half there when he's charging up that attack. Oh look, we didn't even use an armor skin yet. Oh, we're gonna be fine. Um, he he will uh, he will do an even bigger attack, just like the normal Agiacris can underwater. Um, and it let's see, like this, and it and it sends out those random bolts in uh, in a lot of directions, and it's kind of kind of tough to avoid, so uh, you kind of want to be really far away from him when he does that. And if he's leaving to eat, uh, I can show you a little pro tip. If he's eating and you bomb him, he almost always falls down and he will drop a shiny, which is pretty cool. So yeah, he's eating, and so we're going to try to bomb him before he finishes. I'm going to lay a couple of these here. Kick him. Did we get it? Yeah, we got it. See that shiny dropped where his chest is? pretty good. Uh, so if you see him leaving to eat, if you, if you suspect he's tired uh, and he's going over here, uh, we just got a wyvern deer, um, then yeah, go ahead and try to bomb him because he'll get a shiny and it does good damage either way. Bombs are pretty nice. Uh, those were only um, L's, but we did eat for pyro, so they, they do damage like they were L pluses. But if you brought L pluses, then they do even more damage either way. Um, so yeah. Pretty good. Let's see if we can get another one of these elemental hits in his chest here. Boom! What a. Um. You know, and actually thinking about it more, I'm not entirely sure if his back is his elemental weak spot. Um, I think it might be. I know for a fact that his back is his shot weak spot. But uh, don't quote me on the elemental damage. Uh, I don't have the I don't have the chart open or anything, so I'm not entirely sure. Uh, his face is not all that hard to break, um, so just keep keep working on it, and you should get it pretty easily. Uh, so that's that's actually pretty sweet uh, about this guy. Uh, you can get you can get those horns. Just like focus on the head a little bit, uh, you'll break them eventually. Uh, and uh, and his chest is typically weaker to most types of damage than his face, uh, which is nice because you bounce off his face more often. Um, but, 
uh, I would the only thing I would uh, I want to break his face for is to get horns and it gives you a better chance of getting a sapphire so that's nice Oof. Uh, and you'll need sapphires if you want to make his outfit or if you want to make weapons that out of him um, which are the upgrades the normal upgrades to the like Yakris weapons and everything Very nice. Oh. There we go. Broke his head. See that? It only took like 10 or so hits. And that's not so bad. Those are bouncing hits. Those don't even do that much. He has pretty low head durability. Um, so you, you can't really get a whole lot of damage in on it. Oh, that reached me? Wow. I would have dodged if I thought it would have reached me. Yeah, well, but you know. Gave some butts. Um, so yeah. Um, not sure what else to really say about this guy other than to keep trying if you're having trouble because you do at least get to fight him on land and it's not so bad compared to uh, say if you're fighting on the 3DS um, I think I think this guy is pretty tough on the 3DS uh, or, or not or not that tough rather um, he's he's easier than the laggy Acris on the 3DS in my opinion um, and if he's really giving you trouble uh, and this this information like this advice stands pretty much for any fight you're at, you're on. Um, if he's really giving you trouble, maybe try out a different weapon type. Um, uh, different weapon types, even if you've never really used them before, uh, using them a couple of times, getting warmed up, and trying to trying to use a new one could be beneficial. Um, some monsters are, you know, some monsters are suited to different style fighting. Oh, this is perfect. Alright, nice. That was perfect timing. <laughs> Way to go, Cha-Cha. Or Kayamba, or whoever the heck did that. Oh, not close enough. Get it. Oh, wow, I thought he would've... I thought he stood up the other way. And I was wrong. Ah, right in the face. I wonder if we can cut the tail before he dies, because he is limping. Why don't we follow him out, try to cut the tail off, and if he dies, then he dies, and if he doesn't, then he'll run. And I'll show you where he runs, because it kind of it blew me away the first time, and I was like, well, what happened? Uh, I'll explain after he does it. Uh, and if he doesn't do it, I'll also explain. Okay, trying to sneak in. Nope, miss. Got me. Saw me coming. Ugh. Oh, tail. There we go. Nice. Oh, how appropriate. Oh, throwing me around like that. Oh, come on now. Oh. No, stagger. No. <laughs> oh, well. Yep. Yeah, we are thunder blighted. Oh no! Whoa! Jeez, man, back off! Oh, and here's the three-time fireball or thunderball. And he always does that three times. If you see him back up and and shoot that fireball, he'll do it three times, invariably. Oh boy! And another big reel with a huge thunder attack attached. Oh, here he goes, limping away. And you'll notice, you know, he turns over there and he jumps into that water. And I was like, I've, what's happening? I've never seen this before. It's like not even a water area you can swim in. Uh, but he goes over there and the clue is that it heads straight that way, right? And uh, so what you do is you go up to 8 and you can jump off down into 12 or 11, not 12. <laughs> but he's over in 11 right now. So we jump up onto 8 and jump down into 11 right there. And there he is. Let's get him. 
I wonder if he'll make it home. Is he limping or just walking around? He's limping. He'll make it all the way home. Pretty cool. Oh, yep. Yeah, there he is. Okay. He's much quicker than us even when he's limping. Oh, but not when he staggers all the time. Oh, and, and we can miss all we want. Oh, what is that? That was a weird... That was a weird moment of lock on camera. Alright, he'll make it in there. We're going to wait for him to sleep, and then we're going to bomb him. Just cuz. Just cuz. If you are looking for sapphires, it is a much better idea to capture him. Um, sapphires come a lot quicker if you capture him. You can get a sapphire from carving the tail, and you can get a sapphire from breaking the horns, and you can get a sapphire from the capture rewards. So, you want to break the horns, cut the tail, and capture him. And that's your best odds for sapphires, by the way. If you want to make his outfit, or the laggy Acris outfit, and you're this far still. Or if you're upgrading the, uh, the laggy Acris weapons. Let's go ahead and bomb him, see if we can... I wonder if this will hit his back. Ah, uh, not really. That's okay. Don't back up, don't back up. Perfect. Oh, that was so cool. Very cool. Get some ivory laggy acris carves here. Didn't didn't get to break his back, but we broke everything else, that's nice. Um yeah. Uh, his back, you definitely want to break his back if you want more shockers, uh, which are sort of tough to come by. Um, but I think if you break his back and then capture, you get a good chance of getting shockers. Um, I think both of those things give you more shockers. So, so yeah. Uh, his back's not all that easy to break. If you want to break his back kind of more reliably, maybe try going for a bow or a bow gun. Um, because his back is actually his shot damage uh, center. It's where you want you want to be shooting him there for maximum damage anyway. Uh, for non-elemental shots. So if you're going with like a heavy bow gun or something, then you can shoot him in the back. Yeah, and that is the Ivory Leg Yakris. Um, I don't really think he's too bad, but he is the end of the story, which is pretty cool. He's a it's a neat monster, and like because we started off thinking it was a Leg Yakris, and then. And then we came to the Cedius, who is an elder dragon, but then the Ivory Laggy Acris shows up and he's even he's a, he's a new, really strong monster. Ode to Life. Conqueror of Land and Sea. I earned the Platinum Blade Award. But yeah. Uh, pretty cool, I think. Full circle. Laggy Acris causing causing trouble. shiny new mask. Oh, look at it. It's all bright and junk now. <laughs> Action zoom. Cha-cha! Oh god! Woo-woo! Kayamba actually wears shiny gold mask now now. It's same Cha amazing ultimate mask Cha-cha discover in Cave Cave on way to village. Such sparkle sparkle, such plush plush fit. Cha-cha never forget mask of that got away. After Mask we retrieve from Rathalos turn out to be unfortunate Mask, Cha-Cha think me never sees shiny gold Maskalaka. But now now, the mask, the mask Kayamba wearing. It was ultimate Mask all along a lampa. Oh god, oh god, the mask, the, the Shaka irony. <laughs> oh, got a cutscene? What's going on? Screen's just black. Oh. Loading a cutscene. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, cool. That's beautiful. I guess this is when they found it the first time. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's the opening video. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh boy. This is a dedicated little bugger, ain't he? <laughs> How did Cha Cha get on that great Jaggy? <laughs> Somehow amidst all this conflict between gigantic natural forces, Cha-Cha and Kayamba are arguing over a mask and not dying. <laughs> I like that it's stuck in that, in that, uh, what are they called? Aptonoths? In the Aptonoths horns. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, that's great. It explains why we didn't meet Kayamba right away, but we did meet Cha Cha. And this is where we met him, right in the middle of all these Jaggies. Where the Jaggy is. Oh no. <laughs> that's so good. Okay guys, uh, looks like the credits roll after you talk to those little guys, so, um, yeah, so now, uh, now there's not a whole lot left to do in the game, there's, uh, there's a couple other monsters to fight, uh, well, in terms of the story, the game is, the, the story is over, but, um, that doesn't mean that your journey is over as a monster hunter. There's so many more quests than what we covered in the in the in this playthrough, um, and there's still one more monster offline that's available um, to unlock. And there's another monster that we never properly fought, uh, the Devil Joe, that we never properly fought. And there's a monster named the Elatrion, who is the old the online boss, the old online boss from Must Runner Try. And, uh, you only unlock the Elatrion after performing um, all the quest performing. Completing all of the quests in offline mode. Uh, or village mode, rather. So, yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a grind to do, but once I complete it, which I don't make any promises on time frames on that, um, but once I do get there, I will fight the Elatrion and put it up here. But uh, as it goes, let's see, we're going to talk to these guys. Hello, Hunter. Yoku kita. Yoki, 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 yoku kita. Four yokus. <laughs> Wasa say you hunt great and terrible ivory like Yakras. Giant of Far East truly impressed. Kangeki. I, may, I make many voyages, meet many hunters. But dare, but dare hitori, not one compare. How do you say, a winner is you? <laughs> Go forth, the sea breeze beckons. Dewa, pa pa pa. A winner is us. Wow, everybody wants to talk to us. Let's go talk to the guys over here. Hey, buddy. Hunter, I heard the big news. I can't believe you gave that ivory laggy actress the what for. It's the chief's ne it was the chief's nemesis, you know. You should have been you should have seen the smile on his face. It was like he hunted down the monster all by his lonesome. 
Me and the chief have been buddies since we were just a couple of spuds. I can't thank you enough for getting that monkey off his back. Aw, oh, thanks, little man. Wait, more people want to talk? Oh, what's up, Patata? Meow! You must be so proud of yourself. Hmm? You're worried you'll get bored now that you don't... That, now that you beat the Hagriaki Akris, nya? Idle paws do the Devil Joe's work, they say. <laughs> you should try farming, nya. Nothing like getting your claws dirty, and you might build your hunting skills, too. Anyway, remember, when you need tasty organic veggies, come to us. Meow! Who else? Oh, Poogie. Or Homer. Oh, little, our little poetic Poogie. Hey, Homer. Grunt, squeal! Snort, su 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 Grunt, snort, grunt. Snort, snort, grunt. Oink, oink! Grunt, snort! Grunt, grunt, grunt. Grunt, grunt, snort. Squeal, snort, grunt. That's right, buddy. That's right. That's right. That's right, little Homer. Yeah, I love you too, little Homer. He's a great piggy. Oh, I think I have another outfit for him to show you guys. Um, oh, did I not get it yet? No, I guess I didn't. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> did I show you guys the angel leotard? He's adorable. Oh, that's right. No, I didn't pick that one up yet. Anyway, Sleepy Sheepy. That's my favorite. Let's see. Junior, what you got? Ah, ha, ha. The mighty hero returns in one piece. You really are something else, Hunter. You did the one thing my, my old man could never do. Hunted down an ivory laggy acris. If you could have seen the look on Pops' face, it was like he was a kid again. When he looks at you, he, I think he sees his strapping young self staring back. I know this place doesn't have much uh, much else to offer the likes of you, but stay as long as you like. Our village is your village. Thanks, man. Thanks, Junior. Oh, what else do you want, man? What, do you see an ivory like a in the woods? Yeah, I thought so. What it is, an ivory like a We're talking about stay sharp. Play it safe. Blah, blah, blah. Is everyone in the woods right now? Nope. Useless. What's up, hunting fleet? Pally, 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 pal. You actually drove off an ivory leggy acris. I can't believe it. Okay. Well, I do believe it, but still. I guess there's nothing you can't do if you try hard enough. You sure taught me a valuable lesson, pally. <laughs> if you thought I was a, 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 if you thought I was devoted to fishing before, wait till you see me now. <laughs> Whoa! Incredible. You actually whooped the ivory laggy acris. You're unstoppable. It's such an honor to be considered your rival. <laughs> I'm a... Ah, never a tissue around when you need one. Anyway, the hunting fleet cannot ignore such a great achievement. The three... Wait, we three have talked it over and came to a decision. We decided to vote for you in the next election for village chief. With your rivals backing you, you're sure to win. Huh? What do you mean you're not going to run? Think about the fame, the power, the kickbacks from the hunting fleet. <laughs> Ahoy there, village hero. In your honor, I've composed this, this my finest chanty. I call this masterpiece Lagiacris Superstar. <laughs> Every time they come at you, you carve them to bits. Stick, stick them in your item pouch and see if they fits. Moog is safe, but not its monsters. They are in your sights. When Cedius shook the aisle, you turned him into tights. <laughs> Ivory Lagia, you f <laughs> you got filleted by the hunter. Yeah, Ivory Superstar, will you be will you be armor just a sword? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I've un I've undone my I've undone myself. Outdone. Whoa, I've ar I've outdone myself. Of course, so have you. Never stop being the best hunter, matey. <laughs> never, never stop being the best hunter, matey. There we go. What's up, fishmongers? Holy mackerel, mother of carp! Is it true you whacked an ivory laggy acris? Not in so many words, but yeah. My boys have never seen him, never seen one of them, and now I bet you're walking around with its eyeballs or worse. You uh. Sure you aren't looking for a career change? Take up fishing and put the leet back in our fleet? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I mean, how many hours can one person hunt monsters before they get bored? Wait, don't answer that. <laughs> that's a good fourth wall <laughs> problem. <laughs> uh, 
You're really something, Hunter. I can't believe you actually hunted down the ivory leg yakris. I overheard the chief mumble to himself about it. Something about ivory leg yakris being a legendary beast. And you bagged it. You hunted the legendary beast. I guess that makes you a legendary hunter. You know what? Maybe I'll take up hunting too, just as soon as I grow some muscles. <laughs> Who else wants to talk? Nako means cat. Domo, salutations, hunter. How does it feel? How does it feel to turn ivory laggy acris into ivory punching bag? You won dirty yado, honto. <laughs> you won dirty yado, honto. Yado means uh, never mind. <laughs> Now you want to learn dirty fencing like Argosy Captain? Become dirties to them all. <laughs> Training very easy. Only have to wrestle naked with Arzeros in mud pit with hands tied behind back. It like riding bicycle. Never forget. Nani? I could say something wrong. <laughs> um, I mean, I'll try it. What's up, friendly villager? I heard you hunted down the ivory like Yakris and the chief, the chief's bitter rival. Now that's a now that now that beast's all washed up. Ha <laughs> ha! I get it. That must be why the chief's in such a good mood. Heck, everyone is. Of course, it could just be my witty wordplay. Hey, don't don't spoil my pun. Uh, what's up, gal? Hi, how may I help you? You don't know how happy it how happy it makes me to say those six words to you again. After all, even the chief can't ha can't handle the ivory laggy actress. I was terrified you'd come back all beat up and ready to re to retire, just like the chief did. But here you are, and just in time. I was starting to get the shakes. Thanks, gal. Uh, let's start over here for the last couple. What's up, little man? Kid, can I even call you kid now? <laughs> Heard you took down the ivory leg Yakris. Me and the village chief go back quite a ways, and he was quite a hunter in my in his own day. But he, even he never managed to tickle the ivory. That's what we called it. That's creepy. Kid, you just tickled your way into Moga history. I'm honored just to have rubbed my hammer against that mighty weapon. <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> Uh, just, uh, just drop on by with the materials when you need my services. I'm ready to upgrade a legend. Alright, well, that was a little bit creepy. I think I just got hit on by the artisan, but that's alright. I hear you hunted the legendary Ivory Laggy Acris. Could it be? Do we finally have a hunter who's achieved complete weapons mastery? But how? As far as I know, you've never even tried one of my virtual combat scenarios. <laughs> well, don't get cocky, hunter. That's what my pap-pap always said. Maybe you should take a page from his book and try out a new weapon. All right, work. <laughs> What's up, future alpha male? Wow, you're like awesome. My little brother says so. Not that he would know anything about being awesome, but everyone else is saying it too. They got it wrong though. You're not just awesome. You're totally awesome. Duh. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Who else around here has something to say? My little screen says everyone's got something to say to me, but I can't find them all. Oh, I guess that's just the chief showing up. I want to talk to him in the last couple. That's what I want. I want to talk to this little guy. The news she has reached my ears. You bested the li the the, li the ivory lagiacris. Magnifique, très bien, ya. <laughs> Vive la hunter. The food she tastes better when your mood is is light, oui. The whole village is perfectly thrilled with you, even the chief and the captain. My my delicacies shall be divine tonight. The good hunter is like a sous chef, and you are the sous chef to best all sous chefs. Well done, yeah. <laughs> and only a couple more left. Chamber line, what's up? Meow 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 meow. You made it back, boss. You're alive. Heard in my surprise, but I heard you went after a particularly nasty monster. I'm so delighted you arrived. To be honest, I always bite my claws when I head out on a, when you head out on a hunt, yeah. So please promise me you'll always come back to this room in one piece. Isn't that what I always say to you, Mister? Thanks, Chamberlain. Only a couple left. Only a couple left. Uh, Gildy or Chief first, Gildy. Ho! Oh! Also, yeah. <sighs> you actually whooped the legendary ivory leg yakris. I bet my hoses at the guild keeled over from shock when they heard. 
I'm going to brag about this for years. So what I didn't if I didn't hunt it myself? I was part of the team that hunted it. A vital cog, me. <laughs> I've never seen the chief so overcome with joy. He looks like a kid again. You can almost imagine what he looked like back in the you can almost imagine what he looked like back in, the, in his hunting days. Maybe get maybe some muscles here, some more hair there. Yeah, you got to squint. And get this. That thunder power restored the ultimate mask. Don't ask me how, it's just another shakalaka mystery. So we're left with a, re with a rejuvenated chief and two satisfied shakalaka squirts. I'd call this a pretty good day. Me too. Thanks, sweetheart. And chief. Chief, hello. Magnificent. While you were out there vanquishing the beast, I felt like I, felt like I was right here alongside you. I'm sure... It sure was nice to feel the thrill of the hunt again. Maybe it's high time I came out of retirement. <laughs> or maybe not. First you saved the village from the Cedius, and now you hunted down the ivory like Yacris, my nemesis. You're more than just the hero of Moga now. Look, I'm not exactly good at expressing my emotions, so, so uh, I'll just come right out and say it. I'd like to adopt you, kid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, Junior could use a little sibling rivalry and such, but... uh. <laughs> Uh, anyway, just keep on hunting for us, will you? <laughs> well, that's it, everybody. Uh, that's the village mode. That's the story. Um, I will still have a few more, a few more Monster Hunter videos. Uh, there's still more monsters to hunt online, and uh, a couple more to hunt offline as well. But uh, for a little while, I'm going to take a little break um, from making these regular videos, and I'll probably come back with something... Something a little bit later, a Devil Joe hunt here and a Latrion hunt there. Um, but I did want you guys to know that I want to start up another series next. Um, I really enjoyed playing this one uh, and recording it for you guys. Um, I'm considering an RPG. Not entirely sure, though. We'll see. Um, I'll give it some thought, and it might start up soon, next couple weeks, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully, uh, I, I, I hope to live stream a little bit uh, every weekend um, I'm hoping to do it on Saturdays because actually that's when uh, that's when the official Capcom unity uh, group hunts together um, I don't know all of them all that well but they're generally nice folks so I like to I like to hunt with them and uh, yeah so I'll be streaming some online play and sometimes some play with my with my uh, my friends uh, some local friends but either way, uh, if I do that, I'll post a little video uh, announcing it, um, and I'll do it the day before. It'll, it'll probably be on Saturdays if I if I do do streams. But uh, I hope to see you all around. Hope to see you um, over over on the stream, especially. Uh, it's over at twitch.tv slash giraffe factory. Uh, there's no the like on my YouTube, but it's just just giraffe factory. Um, I'll, I'll provide a link in the description. But yeah, so. Guys, I've really enjoyed it, and thanks so much for sticking around and watching. Um, and uh, look out for more videos from me, and I'll see you all around. All right, guys. Bye-bye.